Now, we were going to talk to Kerry Haffin, Haffinen from uh, Countdown, their Director of Corporate Affairs. She had promised and Ben had organised an interview with her. And uh, Kelly, can you tell me what's just happened? Because you were on an animated phone call with her. Uh, yeah, so I've just spoken to Kitty and um, she said she was running away uh, to another um, radio station's interview as well, but was, was keen to talk to us until she asked, wait on, what's this about? And explained, we want to talk to her about the uh, the multilingual, bilingual yeah, 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 yeah. checkouts. And, and just also said, the fact that someone actually just said to me that Countdown still have mandates, vaccine mandates for their staff, so I wanted to just clear that up with her. Um, yeah. She politely declined and said that it wouldn't be a good look for her team if she was to come on and have a. Okay, a Benny, bit of a you get over debate. here. Ben, what did we ask her about? We asked to talk to her about the bilingual checkout machines. Let's just check this out real time. Morning, Sean. How are you? Good, good. Um, yeah, so we sent them an email saying uh, we're keen to speak with the Director of Corporate Affairs, Kitty Hannafin, uh, or an appropriate Countdown spokesperson about Countdown's Today I Self Checkout introduced as part of Māori Language Week. Yeah. Uh, she replied saying, Kia ora, I can do this. Okay, but then suddenly, so just come back to me, Kelly, why did she suddenly say she couldn't do this? I think it was fair that it was going to be a, quite a racist debate. And she why said... Did she, did she say that? Yes. And she said that, so I wasn't planning, so was she going to be racist? Well, she was a little bit worried with the intention of what the interview was going to be by the sound of it. And well, she said well it we told be, her it was going to be about the... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, she said it, w it wouldn't be a good look on, uh, well, fair on the team if she was to discuss that um, sort of in a uh, uncertain environment, I would... I guess. Oh, so, oh well, <laughs> that was my word. Sorry, that was yeah. Yeah. Well, okay. Look, look, Kerry Haffinen, Haffinen, if you're listening, uh, Kerry Hannafin, unfair on your team. Your job is that you're the corporate affairs person. We wrote to you respectfully, asked you for an interview, and you said yes. And then, literally, that's not just last minute. That's like you know, we were right on the cusp then of the vinegar stroke of doing the interview. Hmm. And was she, was, she, was she nice to you? Or? She was very pleasant, I must say. Yes, okay, she was, well, that's just something. sounded a little bit worried. Jeez, well, I, I presume she's getting paid, you know, a couple of hundred, handy, um, to be the corporate affairs manager. And I guess interacting with the news media, would, what do you reckon, Kelly? Would that be part of your job description, do you think? I, I would say that's pretty much the crux of your job, isn't okay, it? Okay, look, ben, ben, we might get you to ring her back and just see if we can get her on. I just think she's doing herself a disservice um, from pulling, pulling that on us at the very, very last, last minute. And I also want to ask her about whether or not there are still mandates at Countdown. Um, geez, that is what... Um, yes, yeah, so someone said, Sean, can you please ask Kerry why there's still vaccine mandates in Countdown with no end in sight? I didn't know there was and we'd want to check that, but we can't check that. If the Corporate Affairs Manager of Countdown says yes to an interview and then runs away going la, 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 la. Mind you that, okay, okay, she was respectful, she wasn't rude to you. Carl, welcome to the program. There you go, Sean. I'm good, my friend. That's the one. Hey, uh, the lady ran off on you. I wonder if I could pretend to be her and you could interview me about... Uh you know, you know what, Carl, in the absence of an interview subject for the next wee while, I think that's an excellent idea. Okay, let's yeah, get so it far in. away, yeah, so we've got, we got a great you, company here, Sean, yeah. You're Carl, you're the head of corporate affairs at Countdown, Carl. Yeah. Carl, why did yeah, you yeah, guys... Yeah, it's going great, it's going great. Yeah, Carl, why did you guys decide to have Tereo Māori on your checkout robots, Carl? Oh, because of the huge number of New Zealanders that, that um, speak Tereo. All right, so you had had an overwhelming call from your customers to have to oh, uh, with your, your checkout robots? I, I would have said five quarters of the people that come in here ask us for it. Yeah, it's... Um, All right, it's, so... Uh, it's a, it's a hu huge demand, Sean, yeah. huge demand. Is it just coincidence that this happened during Maori Language Week or not? Oh, hey, uh, there's no coincidences in, in grocery, Sean. I think we all know that. Okay, you've been accused, in fact, your high, entire sector, Carl, has been accused of profligate um, money grubbing and overcharging for groceries. How much did this project, how much did this project to have the bilingual checkout robots, how much did that cost and where did you gouge the money off your customers to pay for it? 
Uh, Sean, it sound, the tone of your voice is sounding quite racist, but what I want to say is um, you can never spend enough on this sort of stuff, Sean. You can never spend enough. Even at the cost of, you know, putting up the price of basic food products for struggling New Zealanders? Hey, uh, under this government, Sean, uh, we don't have struggling New Zealanders. I think you'll know that. I think uh, this right-wing racist radio station is just trying to push this propaganda. We're the wealthiest we've ever been after the last five years of uh, amazing governance, Sean. And, uh, yeah, like I say, tone down the racism in your voice, please. OK. Now, Carl, I also understand that Countdown is still enforcing vaccine mandates on its staff. Is that true? Oh, look, Sean, uh, we don't enforce anything like that. Um, people, uh, all the people that work here have chosen to be vaccinated. Um, there may or may not have been a gun held to their head at the time, but they've all willingly chosen that, and oh. that's been great. We haven't had any adverse side effects All right, Carl, at um, all. Okay. Now, one of the great things about Freedom Day yesterday is I don't have to wear a mask to the supermarket anymore. I'm presuming people are going to be flooding through your doors to um, use the bilingual checkout robots. Do you still want them to wear masks? Are you still going to ask that they be virtue signally and do that in your supermarkets? Yeah, we're actually selling uh, more masks now than we ever had. We have the Ukrainian, I stand with Ukraine version masks, uh, obviously in Te Reo, Mary and... Uh, yeah, a lot of rainbow masks and uh, purple hair dye is also flying off the shelves. Carl. <laughs> Carl. Carl, the standard corporate affairs manager for Countdown. What a brilliant interview, Carl. I thank you very much, my friend, for your sense of humour. And I think what we, <laughs> we go out of character now, Carl. I think what we've learned is, and what Kerry <laughs> Hannafin from. Uh, Countdown has learned that it's if, if you create a vacuum, someone is going to fill it, aren't they? Carl. Yeah, yeah. It just happened to be me. Hey, Carl, can you stay on the line? Uh, have you got any of our merch yet? Oh, I actually rang up one time and uh, you were going to send me out some, but you uh, didn't. Stay and then on the you line. Had a heart, you had a heart attack. You had a heart oh, attack. I had and a heart attack. Stay on the line, it. Carl. That deserves a t shirt, a mug, and a cap. Absolutely, oh, my friend. Oh, you're a good man. Uh, let, let, Thanks, let's go to a break after that. Work. Cheers. Bye. I love yours. See you, mate. Bye.